channel show, we shared our recipes with millions of families. And now, Karma Babies, we are happy to share our meals with you. So come on into our kitchen, pull up a seat, and let's get this mukbang started. my babies as everybody this morning yep first thing I gotta do is watch out for a car okay now I can go I am on my way to uh, to the hospital and that I uh, that I was a patient in during my illness uh, as you know I had uh, stage 4 cancer prostate uh, stayed in in this place like 17 days and you know they, they've got a rehabilitation thing here and uh, they helped me out a lot, you know, they, they pushed me. And, you know, I, I didn't need a lot of incentive, you know, to get well, especially if you're doing holistic, you know, holistic healing. Uh, but, you know, it's always good to have somebody there. My wife was there with me every night for 21 days. Every night, night and day for 21 days. So I'm going up here to, uh, 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 to take them some hot tamales. You know, they'll probably be surprised to see me, you know. Uh, some of them probably think I'm dead already, you know. Because I was in pretty bad shape when I left that place, man. Uh, but I started to get better, and I started doing my rehab at home, and I started, uh, I changed my diet, and uh, kept under doctor's supervision so they could check my PSA, you know, and make sure there was at the level of coming down or going up, whatever it was doing. Thank God it went down, down, down. They had never seen nothing like that. It was over 4,000, and it went down to 33. Not 3,300, 33 my PSA went down to. So I don't know what is it going to be. Um, uh, I'm going to back to the doctor uh, next month. I don't know what it's going to be next month, but I'm going to see. Um, but I'm going to take these hot tamales out here and give them to maybe the nurses. And the guy that did the cleaning out there, one of the nicest guys in the world, uh, oh, 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 Michael. And uh, I'm going to take him some out there, and they're they going to be pretty surprised. So you probably wonder where is Grandma Karma, right? Well, Grandma Karma is at home on that computer. Uh, she has something she really had to take care of, and she just couldn't make it. So uh, she's fine. She's doing good. And, uh, and you'll probably see her a little bit later on on the... On a, on, on a taping that, that we will be done. So, okay, we're on our way out here now, and uh, uh, we'll talk to you later. All right? Bye-bye. Well, I can't turn my video off right now because I'm on a two-lane highway, and I am not going to be reaching up there trying to turn off a video. So what I'm going to do is just keep driving until, uh, until I reach a space where I can uh, pull off to the side and, and cut it off from the taping that we're doing here. Uh, other than that, uh, hey, uh, all is well. God is good. Beautiful day here in Mississippi. Uh, you know, Mississippi got its problems, but the weather, weather is usually pretty good. Occasionally, you know, we have a tornado here and there, but uh, most of the time, the weather is just like this. It's like right now, it's uh, nine months out of ten months out of a year we get great weather. Ten months out of a year, I mean, and it might be more than that. I don't know. It, it, 
might be the love of my side of the year, but you know, what I call uh, not so great weather, other people might love it, depends on where they live at, you know, like if you're up north in Chicago like we used to be, you know, uh, it, uh, it, it, it it's rough up there, man. I remember when I went to Chicago, snow was over my head. I was five feet seven. I don't know what I am now, but I was five feet seven then. But the snow was over my head. And I said, this is what I left Mississippi for? They come up here for this? But now you're stuck. You know, back during those days, when you, when you left Mississippi and went to Chicago, you're supposed to be better off than when you was in Mississippi. And if you had to come back to Mississippi from Chicago too quick, uh, the people in Mississippi are gonna say, oh, he couldn't make it in Chicago. Now here he come with his tail between his legs, coming back home, <laughs> you know. And I think that's the reason right now that a lot of people in Chicago stays there because of, of that reason that I just stated, you know, a second ago. But you usually go there when you're young so that you can better your lifestyle, you can make more money there and, you know, Supposedly, uh, not as much segregation in, in the North as in the South. Uh, but, you know, it depends on who you talk to about that one, you know. Uh, but, you know, if, if, I mean, you know, something about the South, they say when, when, you, uh, when you're young, you want to leave. When you get old, you want to come back. You know, because you got the cities when you're young, the nightlife, and you, you just, you know, everybody's doing it. You know, it looks like everybody's having a good time, but it's not, it, things are not always what they might seem to be, you know. There's some good places in Chicago, and there's some terrible places in Chicago, you know. So, you know, to come back home when you get older, I don't think that's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're ready to settle down. You know, I mean, you, you've been there, you've done that. Uh, so so what are you so what are you gonna do? You come back, hopefully you have enough money to retire off, uh, and you don't have to uh, 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 sell hot tamales or something, you know, but I, I just get I enjoy selling hot tamales because I love my product, it's a very good product. But anyway, uh, you know, just come back and settle down, relax, man. And most most of the time you have family down here anyway, you know, so like in, 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 in one town here in Mississippi, I've got uh, nephews and sisters and all kind of people, you know, so if my wife ever get mad and throw me out, you know, I can always go stay with one of them, you know. But uh, I don't see why she would after all these years. She had plenty of opportunities <laughs> just to do that, you know. Okay, yeah. I'm pulling up in Decatur now. Decatur, Mississippi. Union. That's where the hospital is in, in, uh, in a place called Union. And uh, they're going to probably be surprised. I wanted to get there uh, just before lunch, you know, so that maybe they didn't order lunch. And I could surprise them a little bit. I hope, you know, I, I hope they like hot tamales. I don't even know if they like hot tamales. Some people like them, some don't. Most people do. Yeah, uh, some people are kind of sewers, you know. Uh, do you have to have a special tape for hot tamale like you do caviar? I don't think so. Hot tamales are really good. You know, the one thing about hot tamales, if you eaten hot tamales before, and the hot tamales didn't suit your uh, idea about what they should taste like, then that might turn you off from trying somebody else's hot tamale. You know, so if you happen to get hot tamales, I hope you get a good one so that you know all hot tamales are not bad, just like anything else. You know, some people can make them and some don't. Everybody has their own recipe. You know, some recipes are this way, some recipes are that way. You know, so, so yeah, we see what happens. Got about nine miles to go. I'm gonna pull off to the side here. And what I'm gonna do is cut this off so that I can continue on my way. Okay, but I don't wanna do it uh, uh, while I was driving. So I'm gonna pull up in here. And I'm gonna shut this bad boy off. I'm pulling up inside the hospital where I was a patient for 21 days. I went doing my rehab for for the cancer problem that I had. 
keep noticing I said I had. It's a reason for that. And I just feel, feel, a, little, feel a little funny. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not used to, I mean, you know, the last time I was here, what the situation was, you know, maybe that's why I feel like I feel. But anyway, I'm here, and I'm gonna pull in right here, because I've got my handicap sticker, and I'm gonna pull in right here, and I'm gonna get somebody. Uh, let's pull a little further. Get somebody to come out here, and uh, maybe they could bring the, the tamales. Just wanted to. Oh, come uh, on, now. <laughs> you go get in there, too. You know, one, 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 of the, one of the things that I did was, you know, change my mind. Oh, my God, what would you eat? I, I, I started to, you do. Well, I started, I started uh, uh, raw base plants, raw plants, vegetables, right from the earth. What? See the numbers moving on there? Yes. Okay, it's probably already okay. taken, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so we got all got hug his neck, so his wife got come on now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it's okay, so man. Yeah, one of the things I did was change my diet and I exercised. I, I kept following the routine that Tim had given me, and then I added a little bit to it. I, I do six miles on my bike. I can do six miles. You couldn't even bike. hardly get up there. I head. couldn't get mm -hmm. up at all. I could not get up at all. We are so thankful. Like God, I know what you had to clean me up and stuff like that. And you know, I am so grateful. I, I think about starting to cry. The lady used me for testimony in church the other day. Did and it surprised me. He said, this guy, I guess he had, he had a tumor on his brain and stuff like that. And he's about to give up. And she was telling him about the hot tamale man. <laughs> said, if he can do it, you can do it. And maybe that's why God saved me, so I can help other people. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, that's you what are a testimony. You are. Tears in my eyes. And, you know, but it's, 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 it's good. It's great. It's so good to me. Yeah. God, it's just wonderful. We are so proud. I am too. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. You didn't yeah. know if you guessed. Yeah, I thank you guys for, you know, for helping to do me and my wife, you know, mm -hmm. when we was here, you know, and we just, we just love you guys. I'm sorry she couldn't come, but she, uh, she had uh, 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 previous engagements that she well, when y'all are out riding around, I want y'all to both come up here. Yeah, we come will, back up here. Come back we got to let everybody see. Everybody yeah. needs to see. We will. Yeah. Everybody needs to see. Thank you. Thanks again, Lee. You got smileys. Thanks again. All right. Okay. Do you have any smileys with you? Yes, I do. I want somebody to take them out of the truck. Car. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's going to get them out of the car. Thank you. You guys are the best, man. God know what he was doing. I'm a baby, 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 baby. How you doing this morning? Oh, is it afternoon already? Hey, I talked to you earlier about me going to the hospital to take some tamales up there. And I did take them up there, and they, uh, they just loved it. They just loved it to death. They just couldn't believe, first of all, that I was able to bring them up there by myself uh, in spite of the way that I looked the last time that I was there. The last time they saw me was probably in January or February. And uh, they was really surprised to see me, and they was oh, they just loved it. They they was just so proud of what you've been doing, how you doing it. Uh, I felt like a rock star. I really did. They wanted to take pictures with me. They took pictures with me. They said, "This is you, a miracle man." I said, "God's a miracle worker." So I made it back. So I decided to get something to eat because I was starving. Grandma Carmen still messing around on that computer. I went in there myself and cooked myself, me myself, and I. What we did, these, this is what's called lake perch. This is lake perch. This is so good. These are, these are brims. I think they call them brims or bluegills or something in the south here. Brim. But look at that. Look at, look at that plate there. Look at that. I, I, I want nothing but, uh, nothing but fish. I don't want to eat anything but fish. And you see the bread here? It's a trick that I'll tell you about that a little later on. I got the bread here. I don't eat a lot of breads, especially white bread, you know. Uh, but I'm going to dig into this. It's got a lot of small bones in it. So uh, I might be talking like that sometime, you know, because I'm trying to wash the bones in this thing. And I don't want to get uh, caught up. I got my hot sauce here. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do a, do a thumbnail. If I didn't do that, Grandpa... Grandma Carmen would kill me. She wanted me to have it up high. I'll do this one. Then yeah, maybe I put them up like that or something like this. Like that. Yeah, that's good. Hey, it's time to eat now, man, you know? 
This is, this is, this is so good. You know, the thing about this, it's, it's like it's a delicacy as far as I'm concerned. You have to, you really have to take your time and eat this stuff, you know. I guess I'll be doing this one by myself. I'm going to cry myself. Oh, my goodness. I'm doing what she done. I hope I've got some more of this in the freezer. I forgot I had this in the freezer. It's so good. In the fins, I like to even bite the fin. You know, but you've got to be careful. Some of the fins are, are hard to bite through. So, But this is, oh, my God. I don't even need hot sauce on this. It's so good. You know, I just take my time, man. I'm in no hurry. This is so good. My grandbaby asked me, say, can I have some? I said, nope. And she almost collapsed because I never tell her no. You know. But uh, I ended up giving up pizza anyway, you know. But the bread, I was telling you about the bread, right? The bread, whenever you, you, uh, you're you eating a fish with small bones like this, always carry some bread like this. The reason for that. If one of these bones get caught in your throat and you cannot get it out of your throat, you're gonna take a piece of this and you know, wet it real good and swallow it. And I've seen it work. I'm not saying it's gonna work every time, but you know, right then, that's your, probably your best option right there is to swallow a piece of white bread. And you will feel that bone actually come up out of your throat. That's right, I've had it happen. Yeah. Mm, 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 so good. I've been watching what I eat lately. So maybe that's why I taste so good. Mm, mm, mm. I feel guilty about giving my grandbaby just just one piece of fish, but I'll find some later on. She'll be all right. Mm, mm, mm. She always used to me giving her anything she wants. You know. Can I have this kind? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, take it. I was reading somewhere where when, you know, when kids are growing up, how many times they hear the word no? Well, think about it. Most of the time, every night, I felt a bone. Oh, okay, sorry. How many times do the kids hear the word no? No, can I have it? No, 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 no. So when they hear yes, sometimes it's shocked, you know, because they, they hear the word. I've I got somewhere. They heard the know how many times. I wish I could pull that up again, but it's a lot. You're not used to hearing yes. Of course, you're always asking for stuff, you know. Mm-mm, so good. Mm-mm-mm. That bread is good, too. I'm going to have to show you the bread. I don't have it with me right now. And I'm just focusing on eating it. Small bones, but look at them. Getting smaller than a needle. Mm. I got, I got to take my time. Wow. You know what? I think I will throw a little hot sauce on there. Don't hurt nothing. It's a, it's a technique for eating fish with small bones, you know. The first thing that you got to know about eating fish with small bones is that you take your time. That's the first thing. And then after you've eaten uh, enough of them, say one or two of them, all the bones are in the same place, so you know just about where the bones are, you know. So it ain't like they're going to Come up as, as, and put another rib in the in the uh, uh, another bone in in the back of a fish. You know it's the same bone, so you just have to know where you are biting the bones. And you can slide that off of that too. You can slide it right off of that. 
But I like taking my time and just eating it, you know? I like a hamburger here, yeah, chopping down, chopping down. Eat it real fast. This you enjoy because you're eating it slow. Mm -hmm. So good. Grandma Karma come through here. She might get a chance to taste it. But uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Boom. Gotta watch them bone. Them bone, them bone. This is so tasty. Hospital that 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 I that I went to that I was telling you about earlier. Now that's that's the hospital that's in the Facebook commercial. That's the same hospital. And when I got there, I told them about it. The one nurse said, Yeah, I saw that. I, I told them that was you. And, and you say, Boy, you 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 did it. You made a turnaround. I can't believe it. And I've, I've got a, I've got a philosophy. I got a, 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 a it's not mine, but uh, I've heard it said somewhere that a winner never quit, and a quitter never wins. So you got to keep on going. You can't give up. You know. And that's what I did. And that's what they were so surprised to see. Uh, you know, in, in their hospital was, was on Facebook. They brought out all, all the nurses, man. They brought, ooh, this is so good. I, I, I'm telling you the truth on that. I'm not making this up. They, um, they brought all the nurses from the station and the physical therapists and they was hugging me and congratulating me. And, Thanking me, and the one, the one physical therapist said, uh, I'm the reason that he enjoys going to work every day, to see that he has helped somebody. You know, because when you leave that place, usually you don't, you, don't, you don't make it, I'll be honest with you. A lot of people don't get a chance to come back and thank them the way I did. And so I guess that's one reason they were so surprised that I came back to the hospital Brought them some hot tamales and, and uh, thanked them for all the help that they, they had given me, you know. And they was really appreciative. They really didn't know how, how to accept it, really, because they, they, they don't have that a lot. A lot of people don't make it, but I made it, so I feel that I was at least obligated to just show something, you know, thank you in some kind of little way, you know. Mm, that's good stuff here. Mm, mm, mm. Got to had this, otherwise it would have been gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I Oops. You know, I was telling you about the um, uh, about the fires the other day. <laughs> find the restaurant, find my house. I thought that was the last two. But I was just thinking, we had a fire in the high rise. We used to live on the 25th floor. 25th floor in the high rise in Chicago. Beautiful view and everything. You know, one thing about a high rise, you know, you are. Uh, I, I left something on the stove and started smoking. I caught it before it really. Well, it really did in the house damage, but it did a lot of smoke damage, you know. So, one thing I start to think, one thing about a about a condo in a high rise, you, you know, it's only one way out, and, and the ladder does not go to the twenty fifth floor. Hey, you get caught there, you you might as well say bye bye. You know, you can't jump out. What are you gonna do? Get their mercy, but uh, you know, I, I, I don't know if I really thought about that going in there. You know, because I never heard a whole lot of high rise fires. I hear buildings catching a fire and things like that. You know, but uh, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you what, what your grandma Karma did. Another fire. 
Hold on, she was looking for something. I told her I wasn't going to tell you this, but let me show you how people don't think something. <laughs> she was looking for something under the bed. And uh, you know these batteries uh, that have uh, this stuff hanging from them, you know, little stuff that can easily catch fire. She was looking for something she's using for a light fire. My goodness. Can you imagine what happened there? But everything ended up okay. And always keep a fire extinguisher. Always have a fire extinguisher around, you know? Because you just never know. And a lot of Throwing water on stuff don't do it. It it, it, it causes it to engulf more when you put the water on there, you know? You've got to be careful. It depends on what kind of fire it is. I think grease fires are probably the worst. I don't think they're supposed to put water on those. But, um, oh, this is so good. I'm almost getting full now. Mm -hmm. I had about five or six of these bad boys. Uh, dipping in that hot sauce in there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I kid you not, this is good. This is this is really good. I gotta call my sister. I always I always mess with my sister. She uh, she's the oldest one. I remember she left my mother sent her to the store. Well my brother, right? Mm. Go to the store. Plus, of molasses, she lost them. On the way back, she lost a half a gallon of molasses. How do you lose a half a gallon of molasses? She probably sit it down somewhere. Somebody walked down with but that's not what she said. She said she lost them. Never heard of that before. I can't make that stuff up like that. You know, I, I lost it, you know. I think mama said, you go back and see if you can find it. <laughs> That's a lot. Mm, this is so good. Mm. I gotta give me some more, yeah. I like fish. Oh, hey, now. I don't know, maybe it's the food. Maybe I'm reminiscing, but I want a beer. Well, I'm not going to have one. I don't know why I want a beer. That's the devil probably trying to get me to drink. I caught him. Okay. Mm, mm, so good. Mm, mm, mm. I went through a lot of fish here, baby. Mm, mm. Then I'm going to take a nap. Look at those bones. See, these are bad boys you gotta watch out for. You gotta pull them right, pull the meat right off of the bones there. I'm still here. I'm gonna try to get away here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The tongue. The tongue is so sensitive, isn't it? I can find bones in my mouth. I mean, it's so sensitive. I, when I eat sunflower seeds, I put one or two in my mouth at, at a time, right? But my tongue can determine which is the seed and which is the uh, shell. You know, I mean, it does it right away. Isn't the body amazing? I mean, your tongue can, can find a seed in no time and know the difference between a shell. You spit the shell out and eat the seed. That's the human body for you, huh? We gotta appreciate it, and we gotta take care of it. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, well, this stuff here, put it boy. This is, that's good stuff there. That's, uh, uh, that's a lot of other good stuff out there, but that's, that's my, you know, that's when I've become accustomed to. Uh, from ripening all these years. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. 
Oh, this is so good. Oh. Um, you know, a lot of karma babies are worried about my diet and stuff like that, and I appreciate that. But uh, I find this, but it's in, it's in coconut oil. Extra virgin coconut oil. If you're going to ever fry anything, that's what you got to use. And guess what? I don't even taste the coconut in here. I don't taste the coconut. So maybe when you cook it, it take away the taste of coconut. You know? I don't even taste it. Oh, it is so good. A big rip. I'm going to knock this bad boy out of there. Hey, karma babies. How about this for finishing up a meal? See, that's the way you eat. All that clean stuff around. You know, like, you don't eat like that when you're at home. You just eat and then you clean up later, right? That's the way you got to clean a bone. My mother would be proud of me. Because she always said, always eat your food because there's people in other countries that are starving to death. So she would be proud of me. I did a job on it because it was good. I'm not kidding. You know, but, you know, I'm just glad that I'm able to be here to do this. Because, I was, like I said, I was in, in very bad shape. And whatever you run up against, don't give up. Don't give up. Uh, uh, if, if you give up, like, like I said earlier, whether you believe you can or you can't, do something. Either way, you're right. If you don't think you can do it, you're not going to do it. If you think you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. You have to put your mind to it. If I can go through it and get through it at my age, you can too. Like I say, you quit or never, never win, and a winner never quit. So, you know, you just got to keep on going, man. Like I did. And God has blessed me. And I know I'm here to help somebody else. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. I don't care what nobody say. The doctors told me I had a year to live. I'm still here. I'm still here. God didn't tell me that. It's been said, but it hasn't been written. Until God says it's over, it's not over. So all you young folks out there, believe me. Sometimes it, it, it looks tough, you know, but that too shall pass. I'm going to tell you, it's going to pass. Just stay in there, hang in there, and believe in God, and you, you'll be okay. Okay, see you guys later.